Can I beat the Zetsubo no Shima Easter Egg with Black Ops 2 weapons? So our Skull of Narn software thing is 3, 2, 1. I know Chrism did this with Cold War weapons and apparently it just like glitched. So that's not really ideal. Where the hell is the bucket? Oh, it's over there. I see it in the distance. Give me that bad boy. But yeah, we're going to try this out. Hopefully the boss fight like it doesn't just glitch out at the end of the game because that's what happened to Chrism. And yeah, that would kind of suck. We've got anywhere but here Gobblegum on because of course you do need it for the Easter Egg. God, having the Black Ops 2 19. 11 just on Zetsubo is so cool though not gonna lie let's go and have a look what are our challenges we've got water five plants already done one of them kill 10 spore infected zombies with headshots that's pretty easy and shoot the heads off of five mutated zombies I mean that one that last one is gonna take a while but it's not too bad. All right, let's just see what we're going to get for the perk. Oh, it's Quick Revive right here. Dude, I didn't even know the first time I played that, like, perks will randomly drop from the sky, kind of like Nuketown zombies. It's pretty unique. So, yeah, you can either get, like, Quick Revive or I think Jug can spawn here as well. I'm not 100% sure. It could be any perk, to be honest. I guess we'll open up down here and start uh, opening up the map. We need to get some water. I wonder what gun's going to be on the wall over here. There is a gun, right? Because yeah, usually it's the Vesper. It's the MP7. Okay, let's probably pick that up when we get the points. Oh, where are the zombies at? Oh, there they are. It's because of the fog, dude. I literally couldn't see them. Oh, we got another seed. Nice. Animax ammo. I kind of like the weapon pack mods because they actually have like purple drops, which looks cool. So how much is this gun? It's 1100. Okay, so we need like two more zombie kills probably. All right, here we go. We got enough. Get the MP7. Pretty iconic gun from BO2. I remember I used to like use this all the time in the multiplayer. Seems to be pretty satisfying. I like the hit markers, honestly. It's nice they added that into these weapon packs. Just pop, pop. I think I'm actually going to open up over here so we can get, uh, what's it called? The water. Throw a grenade on the double tap to open it up. It's nice because you don't actually have to like just knife it to open it up or anything. Uh, I'm not sure where the part is for the a gas mask. I think it can spawn like around here, can't it? Maybe. Oh, here we go. Found it. Jesus, it was just lying around somewhere. All right, well, let's do one of the plants here. This is just for our challenge to get complete. Do another one over here. And finally, oh, never mind. We got one of these. What the hell? Uh, money. I'll take it. I guess that's fine. We could just deal with that for now. Water this. So we should need to water one more time. And then I think we're done with that challenge. So if you've never done the Zetsubo no Shima Easter egg, you have to just get all your challenges complete first. That's kind of like the step one almost. You can obviously go and turn on power and do all that crap like before if you want to. But well, I mean, you kind of have to if you want like jug and stuff to survive. Oh, double points. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. Oh, we're going to have those special zombies to deal with with, which is uh, going to be a little interesting. Oh god, he's turning into a thrasher. Oh shit. I think we have to kill them while enraged or something, or take the head off. There we go. See if we can kill it fast enough. Come on, just spray. Oh shit. Run, 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 run. There we go. Go ahead and water this once, and boom. Look, first trial complete. Nice and easy. I'm going to buy Quick Revive because I do not want to go down and immediately have to restart. So yeah, this first trial gives us a max ammo reward, which is nice. We're going to kill spore-infected zombies and yeah, just shoot the heads off of them. Easy peasy. I think I'm going to immediately turn the power on, so we've got to do it twice. This is the first one. Uh, we need to open this door. Hopefully we'll have enough actually. How many points is it? A thousand? Damn it. Okay, we need one more kill. Okay, just get a little headshot real quick. Boom. Easy peasy. Oh, but there's another door, isn't there? Oh my god, dude. We're not even going to be able to do it. Throw a grenade over there for that perk. I just missed. <laughs> it's over there. Add stamina up. Not bad. So yeah, we need to go in here and put water in another one of those things and it will turn on the power, but of course we can't do that yet. So I mean, let's just get the uh, whoa, headless zombie, dude. I was going to say, yeah, there we go. Get the shield part. Oh my god, we got a pack of punch drop from one of the zombies. What the hell? Tommy's micro penis. Let's go. Well, that definitely helps because I mean, that just saves us having to uh, get a bunch of points because that's the only issue with Zetsubo is there's so many doors on this map. So where is the shield part? If I remember correctly, it spawns in like a really odd place. I think it can spawn all the way up here, right? Like against the wall. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we've got another one of these guys. Okay. Shoot the head off of you. There we go. And then we should just be able to uh, kill him pretty fast. Yep, pack a bunch of gun moment. Oh yeah, spore zombies, we can kill these. We only need two, like eight more of those now. What I might do actually is I'm going to drag all these zombies over and we're going to take them to spore up here and then we're going to kill them. Oh, if they could not get stuck on each other, that would be great. All right, here we go. Shoot this spore. Oh God, stop coughing. I need to kill them. There we go. Oh, they're so slow though. It's going to run out before they even get here, dude. Yep, it's gone now. <laughs> That's fine. We've got another spore here. We should be able to just, uh, you... Pew and pew pew. One more of you, and that should be it. 
No, not quite apparently. Okay. Oh yeah, we need like, what is that? Two more and then we've got three more heads off of mutated zombies. Not too bad. Well, we actually have the points now so we can go ahead and we've got to turn this on again. Pick up some more blue water. Now we could finally open this door and we just place the water in here and that should be both of the power things done. Now we can just open up this and normally if you have one of the challenges where you need to kill the mutated zombie, you just like kill it before it transforms, but we're going to keep it of course. Oh, and we've got two of these guys. So that should be our uh, trial complete, yeah? Hey, there we go. And now we just need two more heads off of mutated zombies as well. And then we're done with that. So not too bad, dude. Of course, we've got Jug in here. We need to turn on the power properly first. Let's go open this door and let's go and do that. All right, so we've got to tear the webs off of this first. And now as simple as pie, we just have to survive, dude. We've got six zombies left. I'm not too sure, but I think this part is like time-based. I'm trying not to end the round. We've got two actual zombies left. Oh, is that it? Are we done? Hey, there we go. We got the part. Hello, get me out. There we go. So now we can turn on the actual power. Put the first pack-a-punch thingy in there. I'm actually going to buy Jug because I just, you know, safety first. And yeah, now we pretty much just chill for a while. We need to work on getting the KT4, of course. But we should have a spider round now so we can actually get the first part for that immediately. What we do is we go over here, we lower this cage, drop on down, wait for a spider to go in here. Go on, in you go, buddy. There we go. Oh, the stupid spider webs, dude. <laughs> it's so annoying. But yeah, we lift this up, wait for it to uh, extract the, the spider juices, I guess, from it. There we go. We can pick up the part. And that is one out of three for the KT4. We can actually get that second part right now if we just wait for a zombie to spawn. So we have to stay in this area and a zombie with like green glowy stuff on them will just spawn randomly and it will drop apart. Usually doesn't take too long. Hey, see, there we go. Immediately. Just there's the part. And the last one, we just have to go underwater. So we just need some points, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I've completely forgotten about the skulls for the skull of non-stop. Well, we need to get that done, of course, as well. All right, open up this door. Now we have to go swim underwater. Oh, here we go. We've got the last pack-a-punch part. And then the last KT4 part is just down here. It's interesting. When you sprint underwater or like swim, it doesn't have a, uh, a sprinting swimming animation. So you're just kind of like walking down here. But anyway, use this to get air back. Now we can go and build the KT4. We can also get started on the upgrade. One of them, we need rainbow water, of course. Oh, a free perk. Hey, and it's stamina up as well. Nice. I believe PhD is on this mod, but I'm actually going to uh, swap out the 1911. You know, we love it, but I've used it so many times. It's kind of insane. Okay, here we go. KT4, the Kasunagi no Surugi, I think it's called. One of my favorite wonder weapons, honestly. Aesthetically, it's just cool as hell. I suppose we might as well get that last part for the Pack-a-Punch, you know, just so it's done. Just have to knife a bunch of these random body thingies. It's always like the last one, I swear, though. Oh, here we go. We got the part. Nice. Didn't have to do all of them as well. So yeah, now the Pack-a-Punch is just open, which is cool. Oh, and we have just enough to get some rainbow water as well. We've got to, like, wait for this rock to appear on the side. Uh, where is it? Am I dumb? Oh, is it when you exit? Oh, it is, isn't it? I just wasted. 500 points, damn it. That's actually kind of annoying because now we have to wait an extra round. All right, here we go. Now we can get the rainbow water. We get a little blue rock on the side. We have to press F there. There we go. We got the rainbow water. Now we might as well just go back through here because it saves time, but we have to go and water a plant three times now. We actually don't have a gas mask. Oh, don't you need the skull of Nan Sarpwe anyway to open the thing you do, don't you? Well, it's a good thing we have stamina up so we can actually run faster. All right, we got the very first one. Let's get this started. It's literally just like a tiny ritual where you just have to like defend it for a few seconds. It's also time-based, I believe, so we can literally just like wait a little bit of time. As long as I don't slap this too much, it should be good. Yep, there we go. Boom, done. Pick that up. Gonna go grab that last shield part. It should be somewhere around here. Yep, there we go. Go and grab this other gas mask part as well. Boom, right here. Okay, second skull. Here we go. I just train the zombies away and just shoot the KT4 down on the floor so it kills anything near it. Pretty easy way to make sure you don't accidentally end the round. Oh god, and then not run into fucking zombies. Oh, never mind. I just ended the round anyway. Okay. Hey, there we go. Finished it. Oh, we've got another Thrasher. Nice. Let's shoot the head off of this. Easy peasy. Now we only have one more to go. We've done all the trials. This is good. Oh, hello. Just spawning in the ground for me. What a legend. Here, come on. There we go. All trials done. Oh, God. Don't get me stuck. Oh, my God. That was close. Jesus. Random zombie just spawned in the ground and almost got me killed. <laughs> Actually running a little bit low on ammo here, aren't we? Shoot down a KT4. Yeah, I was going to say, how did you run through? Open up this and the very last one. Oh yeah, you can shoot the uh, the spores, by the way, and it makes you go super fast, which is really cool. Last part should be somewhere around here. 
Ah, uh, here we go. Gas mask is complete now. Actually, go and build this immediately because it's just going to come in handy. Oh, hello. Fucking hell, where'd you come from? Jesus Christ. Let's also go build the shield because apparently my rear end just needs protecting right now. I wonder if we can prevent the round from ending if we get the plants to pick up the zombie. Like, here we go. Boom. Should just grab it. And I don't think it ends the round. So if we do the skulls, maybe it'll save it. Guess there's only one way to find out. Here we go. I think this one, yeah, I was going to say this one usually spawns a thrasher in. So we'll just shoot that down. Should pretty much one shot him no it didn't okay there we go all right there we go skull complete and yeah it didn't end the round so this is huge we can actually get it all done like right now how does it feel zombie how does it feel to get stuck all right here we go next skull i actually might need to pop my in plain sight because this is gonna get a little bit risky don't have too much in terms of ammo oh we've got spiders at least and no thrashers i mean i guess that's something oh no never mind there's a thrasher hello how's it going it should just kill it when we complete this anyway but yeah there we we go. Oh, and we got an extra zombie spawn in. Interesting. Well, uh, three points. Oh, and we got a max ammo or something because apparently my gun has full ammo now. Nice. So yeah, we put the skull in here and we should just be able to go down into the layer of the skull of Narnsapwa. And I actually found out recently that you need, what is it, 20 kills to finish this. It's the only thing in this map that isn't actually time-based. Right, so we just need a couple more, probably one, two. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? There we go. Done. Let's actually wait here with the shield just so we can get the, uh, the lightning. We can get started. Nice time percent of this easter egg is literally just set up oh there we go lightning struck so the very first thing we have to do i'm guessing we can just like on solo you just zap this thing right boom melee it and it opens up and we just go and walk in and it should take us down okay here we go and then we pick up this people say it's liquid divinium but i don't actually know i think it's just a 115 tube all right now we have to mesmerize what is it a poster thing somewhere around here oh here it is there we go done we have 35 left i think we should still be able to do it I'm gonna swim all the way down here and we have to mesmerize a wall boom here we go and this should open up and then we we can start planting hell yes and then we have to use rainbow water and we do that twice more and then we should get a part for the wonder weapon so that's pretty cool honestly i mean i know there's a lot of like fetch quests and picking up parts and stuff but just aesthetically it's really fun to like run around and just appreciate the map like it's creepy you know the vibes like look at these creature things in here people getting experimented on with these weird like nature aspects let's go buy double tap really quick Oh, he actually broke free. What the hell? I mean, fair enough. I guess we'll kill him because we need to go and do some more rainbow water anyway. All right, here we go. Next one. And we shoot it as well. I think we have to shoot it. I don't know if it really matters. I know the rainbow water does though. Oh my God, dude. This gun with double tap is, uh, well, I have an insta now. So it's even more powerful. What gun is this on the wall? The M8A1. It's funny because, you know, obviously the M8A7 is just the M8A1, but a bit more futuristic. I kind of want to get a different gun, but we also have a papped gun. So it's like, I don't really want to get rid of it yet, you know? But we can actually work on getting the bullet next. Uh, we have to plant blue water. I don't think we have to shoot it, but, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. It's three blue water on a seed, and then we have to, like open it and just hope that we get the bullet. I think if you have the Masamune, you have a higher chance of getting it if you shoot it, but eh, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll just try it. Got one zombie left. It doesn't, it doesn't mean we have to go and pick up uh, rainbow water again though. Ooh, we got spider round. Okay, we actually cannot risk the round accidentally ending. We need to go and do that rainbow water. I'm just, I'm doing blue water at the moment, so. Okay, here we go. Grab the rainbow water. Dude, going into the depths like this when it's all foggy actually looks kind of creepy. But here we go. Shoot that. And I guess the moment of truth will be when we kill all these spiders and find out if it worked or not. Oh, there we go. Max out. I don't know why it says three zombies left because there definitely aren't three. But here we go. Did it work? Yes, it did. Give me the plant. Now we just need to do that spider boss fight and then we get the KT4 upgraded completely. So, oh God, we've got a thrasher under here. I'm actually going to pop in plain sight right now. Ooh, okay, we're good. Could have been very risky if we got stuck there. Oh, another max. Don't mind if I do. Oh, they're putting up the bloody cobwebs. I mean, at least you can shoot it now, which is quite nice. Oh, we need to water these with blue water. Eh, screw it though. Let's just go into the spider boss like right now. I mean, it's not that difficult anyway from what I remember. You just have to uh, avoid being stomped by the legs. I imagine with double tap, this should be enough to probably just kill. Uh, wait for it to open the mouth. There we go. Just shoot. There we go. She's already weak. Open the mouth again and shoot. Okay, it's actually taking so many bullets. There we go. I was going to say, I was getting slightly worried for a minute that we weren't going to be able to kill. Now we'll just pick up the tooth. We'll see if we can pick up a free Widow's Wine. Can we? Oh, we can. Yes, there's no perk limit. Huge. Uh, oh God. I'm going to pop in place again because I need to get through here. Look how many zombies are just waiting for me, bro. Move out the way. 
Oh yeah, we actually need blue water. We've got to go back. Here we go. Pick this up. Water and shoot it. You know, let's actually go and pack a punch because, I mean, we're doing Black Ops 2 guns. We haven't even been focusing on that for ages because there's so much bloody setup. But yeah, let's buy the blocks and just, just see what we can get because I know the blunder gat's in the blocks. So perhaps we could get... We got an SVU. <laughs> um, about that. We got a small... Dude, I don't remember that being in Black Ops 2. What the hell? Okay, we got the Type 25, you know. I'll, I'll keep this. Maybe we pack a punch of this gun. Now let's actually go and upgrade our KT-4 since we have all the availability to do so. Shoot this last one. Oh yeah, we need to um, open up this as well. Just mesmerize real quick. There we go. But here we go. Upgrade the KT-4. The uh, Masamune, I think it's called. I honestly prefer the KT-4 to the Sliquifier. I know they're both like very similar, but something about like the effects of when you shoot down the Masamune, it just looks so good, dude. The Sliquifier is just a little bit, eh, you know, it's cool, but I think the Masamune is actually stronger as well, especially after the, uh, the nerfs. We can go and get started on that second, or not second, it's the first cog, actually. We need three cogs for the Easter egg to get the elevator working. Yeah, we'll just stand here and wait for the uh, the electricity, I guess. My favorite place to train is actually down there in the Skull of Nansapa room, but you know, we're not going for a high round or anything right now, so. I don't know, I think it's probably one of the best training spots on this entire map, if I remember correctly. Oh, here we go. Ugh, dude, nice. I only had to wait like 30 seconds. Sometimes you can end up waiting for ages. Here we go. This is always a little bit finicky. We have to melee the elevator. On solo, it's very easy to just accidentally uh, fall and die. So let's not do that. So we've got to knife this. Boom. And then we activate it and we spam knife. There we go. Boom. See, we've got to do that two more times for different areas. One of the cogs we need the bullet for to shoot down a plane, which is honestly a really, really cool step. Underrated. And then the third cog, I'm completely blanking on how we get that one. Oh yeah, anywhere but here, isn't it? So we need to actually go spin the gold gum. See if we can get that first try. Come on. Oh, sword flay, of course, dude. It's fine. Let's kill the zombie because we can also get these, uh, the pods and hopefully, please, bullet first try. Nope, we got a carpenter. Spin the next gobble gum and open up this. Come on, please. Bullet, 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 bullet. Yes, dude. Thank God. We've got a stock option. I'm actually going to spin again. Even though it's 2,500, it's quite expensive, but we just need anywhere but here. Alchemic. Literally the last one, dude, of course. Isn't that always the way when you want something? It just ends up being the very last choice. RNG just dicking me. I was about to pop alchemical, but we actually need the points, really. Uh, oh, God. Okay, big guy's coming. Masamune should just, like, almost one-shot him though, right? Like, yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, upgraded one definitely kills faster. But yeah, now we have the bullet. We can literally just go and wait over here for the plane to come back. I'm gonna turn my audio up so I can actually hear it load. There we go, it loaded in straight away. Nice. Now we just patiently wait for the plane. It can take like, I think the rotation is every three minutes that it comes back. So if we miss it, you know, it's a bit tragic. Oh, we got an upgraded gun. Nice. The Chinese takeout. I do like Chinese food. It's very nice. What are my favorite place to order from, like for food? Takeaway stuff. We have two zombies left. If they could just not get in the way while I'm trying to do this. Oh, here we go. The plane's coming. Oh, move out of the way. I don't care, dude. Just kill them. Okay, plane coming and fire. Hello? Fire. There we go, dude. Almost didn't do it. And it looks like the cog is going to land. Where is that? Okay, I saw it. I think it's just out here, honestly. It should just be like... Yeah, it was literally right here. Boom, that's the second one. So now literally all we need... Oh, we got a Razorback. Interesting. Uh, it's funny, even with the weapon pack, you can still get the original guns. All we need now, though, is alchemical, and we should get it immediately. So let's just go and spin this. Boom, there's uh, anywhere but here, not alchemical. God, brain. It's because I'm holding an alchemical. But we teleport takes us immediately to this room, which is cool. Oh my god. This immediately spawns me on top of like seven zombies. Come on, bro. Don't do me like that game. But yeah, the final cog is right here. It's cool as well, because this area actually teased Garod Krovi with the dragon eggs, which is really cool. Oh, we've got some more money. Don't mind if I do. Um, Let's actually go and spin the blocks. Can we, uh, can we drop down? Bro, I'm levitating. Let me go, dude. We are like pretty much boss fight ready. I think we could just go in there immediately, which is nice. Oh, and we've got more money. Don't mind if I do. But I want to get a cool gun to like take into the boss. Ooh, the Scar H. I mean, that is a pretty cool gun, not gonna lie. I think, honestly, yeah, let's go with this. And we'll also buy Speed Cola, because it's gonna come in handy for the boss, of course. Oh, the last zombie turned into a Thrasher. Bro, isn't it always the way? But here we go. Scar Packer Punch with Scar Featuring H. Interesting name. Um, let's kill this Thrasher first, so it doesn't kill me while I'm trying to, like, do my thing back here with the, uh, the cogs, just putting them in. Boom, there we go. Now we can get in the elevator, and we can go into the boss. That's assuming that it doesn't bug. 
please, for the love of God, can it just work and just be fine? I think we have a full gas mask still, more or less. Okay, here we go. Now it's the moment of truth. Is it going to bug like it did for Chrism? No, we actually get to go in. Huge, dude. Thank you, game, for not bugging out. I appreciate it. But here we go. Shoot this, and we are now into the boss. It's kind of hectic, to say the least. We have anywhere but here. I imagine you can actually teleport outside the boss, but that would not be good. So let's... Uh... Let's try our best not to do that. It's completely time-based, so you don't even need to get kills, but I kind of just will anyway, because we, we have the BO2 guns. We want to use them. They're cool and all. Just uh, make sure we're not getting stuck by stupid spiders, God. I don't know how good these guns are against the thrashers, but I don't think they're that good. Move out the way, Zombos. Patiently waiting for one of the arms to open up. So yeah, you have to shoot all of his arms with the Masamune, and that's pretty much it. And just avoid the slams. Oh, there we go. First arm is open. There we go. We don't have a huge huge amount of ammo left actually so we just have to be a bit careful shoot the fuck out of you go away might actually have to use the skull here just uh it gets rid of the the fuckers pretty quickly i mean i'm pretty sure we should get a max ammo drop on the floor when we're in the boss but i haven't seen one yet oh yeah there we go dude just right as i say that get out of the way big thrasher dude scar should pretty much one shot him oh god oh Almost got slammed them. Yeah, it's not too bad against them, but it's definitely not amazing. Come on, open your arm again, dude. There we go. Next arm, and then we've got one more to go. This boss is actually so easy, not gonna lie. Like, it's pretty difficult to fail saying that. Please don't make me go down. Oh, hi. Oh, God. Move. Oh, my. Oh, we're fine. We're not fine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's, let's please not go down right at the last second. It's fine. I have faith, dude. I have faith. We've got a max over there. We should be fine. Oh, God. Oh god, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, move out the way, please, I beg, don't kill me. Oh, I'm really begging, I don't die here. Oh my god, there we go, it's open, give me the arm. And we're on the boss, oh my god, dude, we actually almost failed on the very last, the very last arm. We just spot Takio in the back over there, where is he? Laying down somewhere? I think you could see him usually, is he back there? Oh god, almost died before the cutscene. Don't do that to me, game. There we go, we finally got the cutscene. I don't know why it wasn't going into it immediately. Pretty cool that they actually like see each other, you know, the exact same person, but just older or different universe. I don't know the law, man. But thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, then please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out this video on screen. YouTube says that you might like it and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.